Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Side Blogger, and I have another Canva tutorial today. This is pretty neat. I was playing around in the Apps tab earlier today, and I found that they have this app that lets you fetch brand elements like brand logos, company logos, um, brand colors, etc., etc., um, like the official ones. Um, and it's actually really simple and pretty cool. So let me show you what I mean. Um, let me start by creating a design, let's say a presentation, maybe. And once it loads, taking a second, is my internet slow or something? I don't know. Anyway, so um, basically to um, access brand elements, official brand elements for a lot of different really cool brands, you should go to the apps tab on the left and it's actually um, called, let me see, brand fetch. So brand fetch, start searching for brand fetch using the search bar and you should uh, see that, click it, click it again and that should add the brand fetch app to the left panel. And it's pretty neat. Um, so here's how it works. Once it loads, you can search for different types of brands. Like right now, it's showing you some trending brands. And um, as you can see, there's Canva, Google, Twitter, Reddit, Shopify, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's start with just seeing what it looks like. So let me click Canva. And as you can see, they have three different tabs here, logos, colors, images. So under the logos tab, um, you have the logos, the official logos for the Canva brand. And then if you click colors, you have some colors, official colors for the brand. And then um, if you click images, um, they have an image as well that you can use in your design. So for example, let's say that you're designing a presentation for yourself and you need to link to your um, social media profile. So you can start by searching for different social media. So for example, Instagram. And when you start searching, it will suggest brands to you. So Instagram is, um, it's giving you Instagram in your suggested options. And when you click it, you'll see that different Instagram, different versions of Instagram logo will pop up. Um, so they have the logo, they even have the wordmark logo option. Um, this one, for example. Yeah, so they have wordmark logo. They also have um, just the brand page can't upload, upload this media. So something went wrong. Let's see. Okay, so I don't know. Something just something glitched out, I guess. But yeah, you have like different, different versions of a brand's logo. Um, and then if you go to color you even have the brand colors that you can use in your design. Uh, if you go to logo, it has, uh, sorry, if you go to images, it has an image for you to use if you want to. Um, so that's pretty neat. So you can, um, you know, play around with these logos. You can even link to um, this brand logo. So for example, if you're creating a presentation and if you wanted to link to your Instagram, um, profile in your presentation, you could come here in the brand fetch, you could search for Instagram, add the logo, and then, you know, follow the usual methods to link it, hyperlink it. So click the three dots, find link, and then, you know, um, paste your Instagram profile link. And voila, if you save it as a PDF, it, this will be a hyperlinked um, image. So yeah, you can, you can do that for different kinds of things like, um, you know, your Twitter or, well, previously Twitter, now X. You can do that for um, that as well. And basically, this is, this is a really simple way to um, add official brand logos and elements and whatnot. And yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to show you today. Um, I actually found that they have a lot of a um, lot of different types of brands. Like I was searching for Oatly, which is a vegan ice cream company. And turns out they have Oatly on there. So they have a lot of different companies. Um, 
you know. So, for example, they have Ben and Jerry's too. There you go. I found Ben and Jerry's. So yeah, they have a lot of different companies and their official logos, which is pretty neat. I thought. Um, they had the other Ben and Jerry's logo as well, which is the uh, more common one. But yeah, so anyway, that's Brand Fetch, and I just quickly wanted to show you what it is. And you can use Brand Fetch to use official um, company logos in your designs, and you can even get their brand colors with just a click. So yeah, that's it. Hope it was useful to you, and I will see you in a different video soon. Bye.